How's it going, everybody? This is Wally Weasel of the Weasel Studios with the West Up Wrestling News. Things are certainly heating up with SummerSlam on the horizon, but the biggest party of the summer isn't the only thing running through the minds of creative. Let's begin with the Vixen side of things. By the time of this recording, SummerSlam less than four weeks away, and thus far, we have two matches signed. First up, we have Summer Holly Madison challenging Lilac for the Vixens Championship. We witnessed a minor miracle at Battleground with SHM defeating the entirety of the Evil Girls single-handedly, and as such, she's been impressive enough to earn her rematch for the coveted title in the Vixen roster. Of course, we shouldn't count out the fact that it was West Up Wrestling's general manager, Stephanie McMahon, who made the call. After all, she is the present leader of the council and Summer's own idol. Still, the contest between former and current champions should be a good one, as we haven't seen these two compete since Summer's blink days. Lilac has had a career of almost guidance, but perhaps it's SummerSlam where she turns things around. The next confirmed contest is that of Emily Stratfield attempting to regain the Women's Championship from Ida Atsuko. As I'm sure you're familiar with, Ida won the Women's Championship just a week prior to Battleground, surprising everyone, especially the Council, as it was their last held gold. Both Stephanie and Emily have stated that things will turn around for the group and there will be no question of the Fiery Redhead's dominance in the Vixens division. Emily first won the title by stealing it from a distracted Sasha Banks a week after her contract signing and defeated her in a 15-minute Iron Woman match. The match then was designed to showcase no matter how much time she had, Sasha would never defeat Emily. Sasha did manage a couple of pitfalls in that contest, but the end result favored Emily. Is this what the council could have in store for the Gold Girl at SummerSlam? Speaking of Sasha Banks, there's still no word on why she insisted or she assisted Summer during the Council Evil Girls Challenge. She made her presence known during the Summer Betsy portion of the match, and while she refrained from becoming physical, it was at a crucial moment for Betsy and allowed Summer to take the win. There's speculations that Sasha may try to sign with the Council, given that Anya hasn't had much effect on her career as of late. She does have that win over Summer, but nothing else to show for her time in West Up Wrestling. Anya's only comment on this matter is assurance that the harem is stronger than ever, and we won't be seeing Sasha outside the group. What do you think? Could Sasha find greener pastures in the council? Topping off our Vixen news is the rumor that of an all-female special event. General Manager Stephanie McMahon has expressed an interest in turning backlash into such an extravaganza, and if the council is successful in recouping their lost gold, it would only make sense to celebrate. There's no official word on this being true or not, but if, but if so, we may find out right around SummerSlam. That's it for the Vixens. It's time for an update on Pimp Daddy. During an episode of What's Up Wrestling, Pimp Daddy was scheduled to take on Dexter Spectacular in the main event, only to have been brought out by Door Killer. This was to deliver a kayfabe injury on his royal pimpness to allow him time off to film a special feature. All news surrounding this project is still being kept in the dark, but through social media, he assures this is all on the up and up. When asked about a return date, Pimp Daddy merely responded, Keep watching. Is there a concern in the tag team division? While the Vixens tag team division shows a great deal of strength, especially with the recent acquisition of the Bella Twins, there's a concern growing on the male's tag team wrestling side. Spectational member Dexter Sp Spectacular spoke about this when asked at a recent convention. He said, I do think the tag team scene has seen better days, with Jamie in the Universal title scene and Roger and Tony only teaming up for the odd match, I do feel the tag team wrestling has gone on by the wayside. Not that I'm suggesting it's dead in the company or even on life support, but the numbers of 9 and 1 have been dialed. Wilson Wrestling has indeed had a growing concern of shrinking tag team scene, but hopes are high as rumors are going around that certain teams are being signed. One such team has been in developmental for some time and will hopefully make their main roster debut soon. Lastly, we look at SummerSlam itself and compare it to Battleground. One of the major differences that has been confirmed in the re return of the pre-show, or is the return of the pre-show, Stephanie McMahon stated in an earnings call the level of success that she ha was had with for Money in the Bank's pre-show, and she hopes to do it again. She assured that the pre-shows would be would not be a common occurrence, and they would focus on larger events in the future. She stated, Our ultimate goal with larger pay-per-views is to make them a weekend event. We may experiment with something like that in the future, but for now, we'll stick with pre-shows and see where we wind up. A pre-show for SummerSlam would be a great way to exhibit the multitude of talent West of Wrestling holds, as it does find trouble to keep an equal balance with its hour-and-a-half schedule and storytelling. That's, a, that's it for us here at Weasel Studios. Tune in next time for more What's Up Wrestling News.